In this video, we're finding the image formed by a single convex lens, and this lens has a focal length of 18 centimeters, and our object sits 25 centimeters from the lens. So that's our object distance, 25 centimeters. We're asked to draw a ray diagram to find the image formed by this lens, and we're asked to include all three principal rays in that. Then we're going to use the grid to approximate the image distance and the magnification. Finally, we'll use the thin lens equation and the magnification equation to calculate the image distance and the magnification and round it off to three sig figs. So we start by getting in our principal rays. First is the one coming in parallel to the principal axis, and that's going to be refracted through the focus. Next, we'll do the principal ray that passes through the center of the lens, and that's unrefracted. And finally, we'll do the principal ray passing through the near side focus, and that's going to be refracted parallel to the principal axis. We see all three of these rays converging to a point right about here, so that's where the image of the arrowhead will form. And on this grid, every two spaces is five centimeters, so we can just count the spaces to approximate the image distance. And it's just a hair over 24 spaces. I could call it 24.2 spaces. If I divide that by two, it gives me how many five centimeter chunks we're looking at, and then multiply by five, it'll get centimeters. And I get 60.5 for this. To get the approximate magnification, I just count how many spaces high the image is, and that looks like about 3.6 spaces. Divide by how high the original object is, and that looks like about one and a half spaces. And I've got a magnification of about 2.4. Now to handle these things analytically, I use the thin lens equation to get the image distance. I'm going to solve for 1 over di, and that's 1 over f minus 1 over do. So 1 over the focal length, that's 18, minus 1 over the object distance, which was 25. You can do this all at once in a calculator by taking 1 over 18 minus 1 over 25, and then 1 over that answer. And I get 64.3 for the image distance. That's not too far off our ray diagram approximation. And then the magnification is given by negative image distance over object distance. And that gives me negative 2.57, which reminds me I should have put a minus sign on the first one. The minus sign means the image is inverted compared to the object. So both of these miss by several percent error. But remember, the ray diagram is supposed to be sort of a qualitative approximation tool. And then you can get your precise answers by using these equations. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.